Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, we will discuss the latest changes and updates to UK visa for students and for dependents. So in this video, we will discuss first of all, what is the current situation in the UK? What is going on in the country? What's the political situation like? How are people's lives affected in the UK? How has the Russian-Ukraine war affected the UK? What's going on? And next we'll discuss what you can expect in the near future, what type of visa changes or new requirements or new restrictions you can expect to see from UK, why they might be limiting the number of visa applicants, why they might be trying to make sure that as few people get into the UK as possible. And lastly, we'll discuss what you can do to make sure that your visa application gets approved or at least has the highest chances of getting approved. And we'll discuss everything that you can do, everything you need to keep in mind, everything you need to know. So let's first discuss the current situation. First of all, you need to know that there is extremely high inflation in the UK right now. There are a lot of reasons for this inflation. The recent Russian-Ukraine war is a big one. All the energy and fuel prices are extremely high and there is very extreme inflation in the UK. Everything is so much more expensive and that has also affected interest rates for mortgages which have reached 5 to 6% already. And this is not just for the UK, this is around the whole world. I've discussed with friends over in Canada and US and they are saying that the interest rates over there are also above 5 or 6%. So this is a global extreme inflation and no one can avoid this. So if you've been planning to get a mortgage or buy your own property in UK right now, the inflation is super high and it is not the best time to take any action like that. Hopefully things will cool down very soon as things settle between Russia and Ukraine and as energy and fuel prices come back to normal. I hope most of this extreme inflation will boil down but some inflation will definitely be still there. And lastly, everything is a lot more expensive. As I mentioned previously, everything means everything. Everything from fuel, from groceries, from travel, from bills. Everything is a lot more expensive in the UK right now. You can get an idea by looking at the interest rates. Previously, the interest rates were 1.5 to 2% on an average mortgage. And right now, that interest rate has increased up to 5 to 6% on the low end. So that will give you a great idea of what kind of inflation I'm talking about. But this is the current situation. This is what people are going through right now. But this is global, so we can't really blame UK for this. Another reason for this inflation is also the instability in politics. As you probably already know, the prime ministers have changed twice in the past three months. So that definitely affects inflation as well. So now let's talk about what to expect. What changes can you expect to the UK visa process? What changes can we expect to the student visas or to dependents? What requirements might be added? Let's talk about that. So in terms of restrictions, I don't think UK will take very extreme actions about their restrictions and the restrictions will probably not be that severe. The reason being that UK is a small country in terms of its area. And UK's economy benefits a lot from migrants and from visas, from different fees, from students coming in, from dependents coming in. Basically from anyone and everyone coming to UK and living here, working here, adding to the economy is very beneficial to the UK economy and is a big part of their income stream. So they definitely do not want to affect their economy in a bad way. Hence why I don't think the restrictions will be that severe. However, we can expect some extra requirements and a more strict regulation system. What do I mean by that? I mean they might add some extra requirements to the visa approval process to limit the number of people who are able to get to UK because the number of applications has quadrupled in the past few years. The number of students or other people trying to come to UK in 2019 were far less than the number of people trying to come here in 2022 or in 2023 right now. So UK is definitely trying to limit the number of people that are able to get their visas and come here live in the UK. Hence why they might add some extra requirements and they might get more strict with their requirements to limit the number of visa approvals. Next up, there may also be an increase in fees or a more strict fee schedule. As I mentioned previously, there is extremely high inflation in the UK right now. So they may increase their fees for the visa process or add a more strict schedule for the fees. So you have to pay each and every fee right on its time or they may shorten the time window to limit the number of applicants once again as I mentioned previously. And lastly, they might get more strict for dependents. So if you have a dependent, if you're bringing your family or your spouse or your kids with you to the UK, you will have to clearly show them and prove to them that you can actually provide for them in the UK and you will not become a burden for the government and your income can actually support them in the UK. Now let's talk about what you can do, what things to keep in mind 
for your own visa that you are about to apply for or someone else that you know is about to apply for. First of all, you need to make sure that you meet all the requirements. And I mean all of them. You are gonna wanna make sure that your chances of getting your visa approved are as high as possible. Next up, you're gonna wanna be very clear and upfront about your documents. So if there's anything, any small thing that you need to clear, you must clear it there and then. You must make sure that they understand each and everything about your documents and there is no misunderstanding or miscommunication on the document's end. Next up, as I mentioned previously, you need to provide solid proof for your income so that they know that you're making good enough money and you need to prove that you can actually support your dependents if you're bringing dependents with you to the UK. You need to prove to the government basically that if you come to UK, it's beneficial for them and you won't add any burden to their country. You will actually add to the economy and be a good UK citizen. That's all you need to do to get your visa approved. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.